Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down a long position that we took on the S&P 500. This was again traded live in our Discord, per usual, called out, alerted with entry, price targets, and everything, as well as live in our free Twitch stream. So make sure you're tuning in um, on the on the streams. So let's talk about why I was first of all bullish on SP, SPX 500, SPY, whatever you want to call it, uh, the overall market, and you know where was our entry. So let's break down. Let me remove all the drawings per usual. And I want to first break down uh, on the hourly time frame and kind of show you guys my biases for um, for the day. So quick shout out to Trader Jet. He also took his first trade. He was his first trade live. We had, the, we had a new trader live with us. And he took his very first trade with real money and made, made, a, pretty good, uh, made a pretty good profit. This play hit over 100% if you held. I took most of mine out at around 95%. Uh, but hit almost you know 150 percent if uh, if not more. But quickly, I'm gonna talk about this Friday level here. If you guys remember, we we had a lot of news on on Friday, and we actually took a long position here. Um, so I'm gonna talk about first this Friday level, and uh, this correlates to what's going on today, which is Tuesday. So as you guys can see, we had this liquidity here that we, we were watching on Friday, which was taken out on a big displacement. Big displacement, big red into big green, right? Big displacement of structured market. And as you guys can see, we also had a downtrend here. Now with a big push up, taking out the previous high and the previous lows right here, this downtrend gets broken. Again, talking about displacement, right? So now we build a new, new. Uh, we should be building a new uptrend here, which could either be a, a counter trend of the overall downtrend, or B, could actually break the overall trend and just build a new uptrend towards new highs, right? So that's the two options that you have um, that you have there. So uh, we're looking for confirmation to Friday, Monday. Today was that you got this low here, which was the displacement low. Then you got this high above the previous high, right? So that's where you build this new trend. And then you make a new high, new lows. And now you're seeing like, okay, big low, new higher low, higher low, higher high, higher high, higher high, higher high. So that shows you that it's like, okay, the trend is now up. And as the saying goes, the trend is your friend. And the only way you look for... Uh, this trend to be broken is what big displacements in which we have not gotten a big displacement. We could be in the process of one right now. Uh, we could be in the process of taking out this previous high, which we tapped pretty much, and you know, we kind of take it out. We pretty, high, pretty much high, and then if we get a big red, this could be considered displacement into back the counter trend being done and the overall bigger trend uh, continue. But until you get this a big displacement, you're not going to be getting. Um, you should not be looking to go short on any major time frame. Uh, so that's why I'm overall was feeling pretty bullish for the hourly. So now this morning on the pre-market, I was looking for this area actually to go long. And as you guys can see right here, this is that, that fair value gap right here that we built on the hourly. Uh, but this is not on at the market open. And, um, and um, you know, but I, I didn't mention it. So then we zoom in. Let's zoom in on like a five minute time frame now. Now, in the five minute time frame, I'm waiting for my entry during the market, the market open. So we see that we tap this level, we fill this fair value gap on hourly, and then we also form a little bit of an inverse sudden shoulder. The inverse sudden shoulder kind of showing that uh, reversal potential happening. All the inverse sudden shoulder really is, is you build high, low, and then you make higher high, and then you break above the previous, the previous, uh, previous high, and then you go, right? So then we fucking we break above it. Then we here we run into the previous day close. Um, that could have been potentially an issue, but in this case, it was not. And the reason it was not because we also broke down this trend line. So I felt comfortable going long, right, around this level. So we entered with a stop loss below. If we fall back into this kind of inversential pattern, you know, you see before uh, around this 4435 level. So entry, stop loss, and then first targets kind of like looking at this level right here. Uh, and then, of course, it went, it went much further. That, was, that low was a one to three, but as you guys can see, it went, it went much higher. And now we're talking about the displacement. We could be seeing that. It went all the way up to this top target, which was, I believe, this was the Thursday highs. Yep, the Thursday highs that we just took out uh, for almost a one to ten restore, which was insane. Again, the contract moves almost 200%. Uh, just really strong uh, move and really clean trade. Never really hit drawdown. We entered and pretty much was, um, was all up from there. And it was a great trade that we all made bank on. Uh, and in understanding the market structures and the key levels will help you get this type of trades. Uh, having the right bias for the day is really important because it's really hard to go long if you're thinking like, hey, the market should be going down. It's really hard to do. Uh, so having the right bias for the day is always extremely helpful. That's why you got to start on the hourly and the bigger time frames before you zoom in on the smaller time frames.
Hope this breakdown helps. As always, guys, leave a like, comment down below. Get in the channel. And peace.